Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of the properties of operations. This is standard 6.7D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 30 of the 2017 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have this expression 30 divided by parentheses, 3 plus x, and we simply need to find an equivalent expression. There are a few different ways that we can do that. First, let's figure out what properties we are going to be possibly using today. So one property that we might see is the commutative property, and sometimes this is called the order property. And that simply means with either addition or multiplication, doesn't quite work with subtraction or division, you can put the numbers in any order that you want to. Um, so like 3 times y is the same as y times 3. Or 5 plus 6 is the same as 6 plus 5. We have the distributive property. This one's a little bit harder to see sometimes. Distributive is going to also be called breaking apart. Sometimes it's called a breaking apart property, and that just simply means you can take a number that's multiplied by the numbers inside, so like 4 times x plus 3, and you can actually break this apart and multiply the 4 times the x and the 4 times the 3. So you can say 4x plus 4 times 3, as long as you're keeping that operation the same. And then finally, we also have the associative property. And that's simply the grouping property. So that means that you can change the order of the grouping. Everything stays the same as long as you're not changing the operation. So 3 plus 2 plus y, for example, you can put the order there. That's the same as 3 plus 2 plus y. You put the brackets around the 2 and the y. It doesn't make any difference because we're not changing our operations. If we do, that will change the answer. So let's see what we can do here. Let's just make x something simple. Let's just make x, let's just replace it with something simple like 5. You don't want to do 1 or 0. Sometimes those will give you false positives when you are using multiplication. So let's take a look here, and let's just see what this simplifies down to. 30 divided by, and then we've got 3 plus, and we're going to say our x is 5. So if our x is 5, that's going to make that 8. So it's 30 divided by 8. It doesn't go in evenly, but we'll just call that 30 over 8. We can just leave that as a fraction. So let's see what we have here. We're going to put a 5 right here. So, oh, look what that does. That's 5 divided by 30. Well, that's going to actually be 8 divided by 30, because we need to add the 3 and the 8. So that's going to equal 8 over 30, which is the exact opposite. So they tried to use this commutative property, this order property right here, but you can't flip the order if you're using subtraction or division, so that's not going to work. So we've got 30 divided by, and then we've got a 5 right there, so this is 30 divided by 8. So that looks like 30 over 8, which is, you know what, that's exactly what we said right here. Now what's the difference? Look what they have here. They have x plus 3, and they have 3 plus x. So this definitely is the commutative property. They're just flipping the order. And as long as it's either multiplication or addition, you can change the order of the add-ins or the factors, and it doesn't change. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be your answer. Let's double-check the rest. So 3 divided by 30, so that's 3 thirtieths plus 5. So that's going to be 5 and 3 thirtieths, which reduces to 5 and 1 tenth. And that is not going to be the same as this 30 over 8. And then finally, we've got a 5 right here. So we've got 30 divided by 3, that's 10 plus 30 divided by 5, that's 6, so that's going to be 16, which is not 30 over 8, so our answer is G.